I created my own Fortnite live event and today I'm once again turning Fortnite thumbnails into reality. This is a series of mine where I recreate Fortnite thumbnails and turn them into animations using a 3D software. The plan's simple, let's search for the best Fortnite thumbnail on YouTube. Ooh, I really like this one. Oh, this one looks so cool as well. I've picked these two thumbnails from Top 5 Gaming to turn into an animation. But there's one big problem. I know nothing about the Fortnite storyline. So what's happening in the Fortnite storyline right now is the Seven are launching missiles to gather supplies and reunite their whole group. This is Tom. Tommy, the owner of Top 5 Games. He knows everything about the Fortnite storyline, and he has even predicted entire Fortnite events in the past. I mean, taking a swing at a live event theory, it could start off with like the hatches opening and the rockets launching out of it. All right, say less. I went to game and built up to get a good view of the hatch. Next, I imported the hatches from the game files into Blender. Duplicated and aligned them with the view and then animated the hatches opening. When overlaying this with the original clip, it already looks really cool and real. After that, it was time for the rocket, which I imported and gave a base animation to make it feel more alive. Alive? Why am I making a rocket feel alive? Anyways, next I needed some smoke. I tried to create a smoke that looked as close to Fortnite's rocket smoke as possible. And I think I got pretty close. Alright, cool. We got the rockets launching out of the hatches, but what could happen after that? After that, I'm assuming they fly all across the map, maybe even causing a rift. To make them fly across the map, I created paths for each of the seven rockets, which would first fly around randomly before then all flying into one spot in the sky, causing a rift. They fly up slowly before then all the smoke stops, they drop their boosters and activate their rift energy. For that, I created different particle effects to create a rocket trade. Now that they're inside the rift, what could happen next? Now the Daily Bugle is in the shell of a volcano, so all I'm saying is if the meteor comes back too, we're looking at another volcano event. Meteor theory fit perfect, so I once again created some smoke, this time smoke for a meteor. I then made all seven rockets guide the meteor down into the Daily Bugle. And since it is in a volcano, I made it erupt. Using a few effects mixed together, I made a volcano eruption. Alright, let's show it to Tommy, the YouTuber who used the thumbnail. Uh, alright, I can see your screen, let's do this. Okay, the hatches are opening, yup, that's cool. They're opening. That's insane how it actually looks in game right now. Okay. Here's the rockets. Those are the rockets. Yo! Dude, that looks incredible, the smoke streams underneath it. Wait, what are they doing? Whoa, what? Dude! <laughs> Yo! What? Wait, where are they going? Is Boom. that a rift? Rift. What's gonna happen? You mean to tell me this isn't in game? Is that the meteor? Yep. <laughs> you said it might return, so I added the meteor. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna look like this! And now guess what's gonna happen next? It's going right over the bugle. Oh man, what's gonna happen? Holy! What? Is it the volcano? It's erupting. How do you even make this? <laughs> Dude! That's it. <laughs> Bro, I am in like disbelief right now. That was like the craziest thing I've ever seen. After you've seen the second one, this one is gonna feel lame. Wait, you mean there's another? Yep, next up I'm recreating this thumbnail from you, the foundation robot fighting the monster. Tommy, break it down for us. So on the chapter three island right now, you can find the bones of the monster and it looks like the imagined order have set up a dig site around it, possibly to bring it back to life in a completely new form. And while it turns out the seven could also be building their own foundation robot, creating the monster vs. robot 2.0 live event. From my last video, I bought a 20 $20,000 motion capture suit, which I can basically use to transfer any movement onto a Fortnite skin. But before I start recording, I have to figure out who will win the fight, the monster or the foundation robot. Okay, we're talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, aka The Foundation. The robot is going to absolutely dominate the monster again. Well, little does Tommy know, I will make the monster win just to see his reaction. He's gonna be so confused. Wait, what? No, no, this isn't how it's supposed to go. Also, these incredible six skins were made by Top 5 Gaming's thumbnail artist, Denny. He'll be linked below and Shout out to him for providing these. We're ready to animate the fight. But there's one problem. I obviously have no idea how to act a monster. This is going to be difficult. I have to act two characters fight. But I only have one motion capture suit. The timing and planning on this needs to be perfect. After about two hours and multiple fail takes, I finally had something that I could work with. I imported the raw data and it was bad. Since the monster has huge arms and the proportions are nowhere near those of a human, whenever I had my hands on the ground, the monster would have his hands literally way inside the ground. That meant I had to manually 
adjust the arms for the entire fight. Now that everything's fixed, I exported the first test version. It looks good, but there's a few issues. The characters have to be behind my skin and the mountains, but before that, I need to add effects. The monster is shooting missiles, so I decided to recreate the missiles that were used in the final showdown live event. I modeled the missile, created my own cartoonish smoke, and then created a smoke train. After that, I created a fire explosion when the monster gets hit. I also added a normal smoke explosion when the robot shoots the missile. I then created a slight variation of that exact same smoke effect, and I placed it on every footstep of the monster and the robot. I also made a really big one for when the robot falls over and hits the ground. Next up, I made the scream effect of the monster. This actually took quite a while and the effect was super hard to achieve, but I think in the end I got really close. Tempta, a friend of mine, also helped me make a little bit of a weaker scream effect. Now all that was left to do was separate the foreground from the character. I had to mask out the entire foreground so I could then put it in between the characters and the background. I had to do this frame by frame for the entire animation, which is two minutes long. I also turned the foundation statue into a sword. Similar like in the final showdown, the statue actually has a sword hidden underneath the ground. Let's see the final animation and please do me a favor and hit the like button. I literally worked an entire month on this. Let's go. Oh my. Yeah, look at the look at the foundation robot. Dude. There's it's no way this one is gonna be better than the last one. Yo, that's insane. Just wait until they're gonna fight. Did he just somersault? Yo! Oh, he's on the ground. Oh, I'm Team Robot, man. Come on, get up, buddy. Oh, I'm Team Monster, bro. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Dude. <laughs> I'm getting so much nostalgia from the first event. Did he just jetpack? What? He doesn't have a jetpack for no reason. Come on, oh, robot. No, not his jetpack. No, not that jetpack. Monster, you got this. Get up, robot! Get up! If you're Team Monster, I, I I got a bad feeling about this for the robot, considering you're the one who oh. animated it. Wait, what? No, no! This isn't how it's supposed to go. On a reverse card. <laughs> no! Not the not the robot. The monster won. <laughs> Is that the foundation statue with this? Oh my god! Yep. <laughs> He better not take. He better not floss. Oh no! It's ATL. It's even worse. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the monster won. <laughs> I gotta say, you did a pretty good job of recreating the thumbnail, to say the least. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part, and goodbye.